Let's just say I thought it was completely weird when my cousin said, Can you watch the house for a week? And I said yes, and he said, Be careful. He said, Be careful? What are you talking about? I'm 40 years old, I'm divorced. Got no ties, no kids, no nothing. I can take care of this house. Simple. What do I do? Get the mail? How hard is that? No, he said. The house is haunted. <laughs> haunted, I said. It's the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> and I said, see you next week. He shook his head and said, you'll find out. I certainly did. Hello? Who the hell is knocking at the door at midnight? And that's what it was like at the house the first three nights. I go to sleep, and I wake up to the sound of someone knocking at the door, the doors opening and closing. I mean, I actually ran to the neighbor's house one night. I thought my cousin put him up to it, but he didn't. And during the day, it was as quiet as anything, especially in the surrounding woods. There's truly a lot of things I never believed in until that week. One of them was, I thought when people died, they just passed right on, went right to the next plane. I didn't know that the dead had a tendency to linger. <laughs> on the fourth day, I started hearing that sound at two o'clock in the afternoon coming from the bridge, and I could smell smoke. Hello? rifle was gone. But the next day, at two o'clock in the afternoon, I heard the shot. And this time I was standing on the bridge. Anyone standing in that position with a rifle would have a perfect shot at the window. I called my cousin later that day and found out the only thing he experienced were the banging doors and the knocking. Not the gold piece, not the rifle, and not the sound of the gunshot. Now, my cousin was a hard person to know, and he was always obsessed with his business and out of town a lot. So perhaps that entity from beyond felt couldn't make any kind of connection with him. Maybe me being newly divorced, not attached to anyone or anything. This entity felt it could. And it had. But what I didn't know is someone else at the time, someone very real, someone above ground, was watching me. The ghost was definitely telling me it was time for action. And if that dream had any meaning, then I had to go out and look for gold.
gold. You know, it seemed like something a five-year-old would make up, a treasure hunt in the backyard. And yet, I happened to find an area that was identical to the area of the dream. And then soon something else. As I walked along, I spotted the rock, I kicked it twice. And underneath it was gold. So I went online to look up gold coin robberies. I got more than I bargained for. It seemed two men robbed a local museum 10 years before. One double crossed the other and hid the gold. In a fit of rage, the other man shot him to death with a rifle from the bridge, killing him by that window. So everything I had seen and everything I had felt was real. A true connection to the other side. But why the gun? I think it was some kind of protection sent to me from the other side. But protection from whom? You see, the murderer with the rifle? He was locked up in an institution somewhere. That night, a feeling I can't explain woke me up. It's as if someone else's thoughts were in my head. And those thoughts kept telling me to walk around in the house. Same pattern each time. And I would always end up by the window. I knew I was repeating the last walk someone ever took. The last thing they saw when they were shot by that rifle. <laughs> Stay back, I swear to God, I'll shoot you. Please, stay back. Stay back. And shh, 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 shh. Unfortunately, my doctor was right. I had told myself so many lies. 40 years old, I'm divorced. Got no ties. I wasn't divorced. I had shot my wife to death years ago because she was sleeping with my cousin. This was all an elaborate game I made up myself to protect myself from reality. I shot my wife on the bridge from the window. That's why I could smell the smoke. Dr. Gold was right. I created the ghost house so I didn't have to deal with my past. My cousin had kept the house while I was in the institution. Dr. Gold didn't think it was a good idea that I be released, but he did it under the condition that he could keep close by and the house was being monitored. The gun was just another illusion I created to keep myself from seeing the reality. I killed my wife and I have to accept that. The sad fact is, we all have ghost houses in our lives, places we create so we don't have to see the truth. And some are more haunted than others.